How's it going guys? This is James back again from Butler Farms and um, just going to bring you a little quick update to go along with the um, compost video that I did not long ago. Um, finally got some cool weather here in uh, central Alabama this morning. It was actually in the mid to upper 40s and uh, has been holding in the mid to upper 60s all day long. So really felt good to get outside and get some work done and uh, deal with these compost piles. Now I showed you where they were in relation to our house and um, everything like that and and being out of sight and out of mind is good in some ways but they have been neglected um, but I've spent some time uh, trying to get them flipped and uh, just want to show you kind of what we um, have going on underneath them and what's still left to do so as you can see it may be hard to see here in the video but um, I have taken everything on the bottom and pulled out from underneath and piled up on top now as you can see there's still quite a few things in there that have a ways to break down there's some whole leaves in there there's still some wood chips and small branches and everything but here's what i want to uh, kind of show you down here at the bottom when you get down here to the bottom you're starting to get uh, some things that are pretty unrecognizable at this point yeah there's still a few things that you can see in there but it becomes more and more uh, unrecognizable and, and uh, dirt like and so that's what we're trying to accomplish that's what we're trying to get to now like I said this has been extremely neglected it should have been turned uh, probably four or five times since the last time it was turned but I did kind of spread it out um, I wet it down real good that's one thing that a lot of people don't know about um, compost is um, you've got to keep it wet you've got to keep it moist inside so I knew it would be especially as dry as it's been here uh, lately dry and hot we haven't had any significant rainfall and pro we've had one good rain here in about the last month but that's about it um, but nothing that would keep this moist so I spread it out to begin with and um, wet it down real good and then as I piled it layer upon layer I would wet it again so it's it's real good and wet now and um, I'm gonna try to keep it that way as I uh, continue to turn it and uh, let this break down being that I am behind what I'm kind of worried about is that uh, I won't have enough of it ready by um, next spring and late spring uh, to uh, use uh, in my potting soil mix but we'll just have to see how it goes I'm uh, gonna commit to coming out here and and making this a priority to get it broken down. We've got some real good uh, compost uh, starting to finish up down here at the bottom. So there's more in there than I'm, than I'm thinking it is. And one thing about compost, uh, I have in the past, <clears throat> uh, I've got a screen that I can put over my wheelbarrow and uh, basically just put it on top of the screen and shake it through and the stuff that goes through, I go ahead and use and the stuff that stays on top, I put back in the compost pile. So there's plenty in there, it's kind of hard to see. Um, as I can tell just by looking through uh, this screen that there's uh, it's it's not as noticeable as it is uh, with the naked eye but uh, it's coming along so we've got it restacked um, the pile now is standing a little bit over four feet tall uh, I'm standing up on a hill um, kind of filming down on it but uh, it's about four feet tall now and what that will do is that will allow uh, it to have enough um, height and width you can see how big around it is um, now I'm on the bottom side and um, I'm right at six feet tall so you can see um, that it's pretty high but what that will allow it to do is not only do I have moisture in there not only do I have it piled up and but it's going to allow it to start generating that heat I mixed um, a lot of greens in with all these browns inside and that's going to kind of start that chain reaction uh, of that heat inside that will really start uh, breaking this down but with fall and winter coming obviously the temperature is going to kind of work against me so I'm going to have to keep it piled up and keep it uh, moving and keep it aerated uh, so that that breakdown will be quicker I also was able to come down and work with my leaf pile a little bit now this is the same leaf pile I showed you in the last one and um, I did the same thing with it I kind of spread it out pulled the stuff off the bottom and piled it on top but um, you can see that the stuff that I pulled out from under the bottom looks like it has never, like it was just put out here today. 
these leaves have been laying here over a year at this point and um they are slow to break down again because and mostly that's my fault because it's been neglected but what i am starting to see under here is this leaf mold and it's still got a ways to go now that is not finished but it is getting there um, it is starting to break down it's, it's crumbly it breaks apart uh, very easily and that's what I'm looking for that's what that is uh, what I am trying to accomplish with this so kind of the same principle it's not as easy to get the leaves to pile up and, and stay there um, like it is with the, the other compost because other compost uh, is more rigid it's got wood chips it's got little small branches and things like that in it as well but um, after I got these good and wet, I did pile them. So they're about, I don't know, about three feet tall. Uh, that pile is probably um, 15 to 20 feet along and probably about eight feet uh, front to back. So um, maybe now that I've got some oxygen into the pile, I've got everything good and, good and damp inside and uh, got it piled up to a height where it should start breaking down at a more rapid pace and again it's just something i'm gonna to have to uh, make a commitment to coming out here and uh, stirring and and keep it moving um, and again that's completely on me um, getting busy and just simply forgetting about it that's like i said earlier that out of sight out of mind kind of thing where you just don't you don't think about it and you pass by it every day and the time of day i'm getting home sometimes i, I just don't even remember that it's out here but um knowing now that i'm probably going to be a little short um on compost this year i'm really going to have to commit to um uh, to uh, making that work so uh that's where i'm going to leave it I'm just going to let this one be a little short one just wanted to bring you an update and as you can tell that it's got a long way to go but we'll get it there before spring and it'll be ready to um it'll be ready to uh use in our garden so I just, uh, I appreciate you joining me, and uh, until next time, this is James from Butler Farms. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I thank you to those that already have. We're, our channel is growing uh, each and every day, and uh, I can't tell you thank you enough for that. So uh, keep it up, and uh, keep watching, and we'll keep making them for you. And uh, we'll see you next time here at Butler Farms.